Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and in today's guide through the open source licenses, let's talk about the MPL, Mozilla Public License. By the way, if you are interested in other open source libraries, take a look at the description of the video. There is a link to the playlist that contains the video about the other types of the open source libraries. But let's get back to the MPL. MPL is something like a GPL, but for files, not for the full repository, but only for the file. MPL ensures that a file released under the MPL will stay MPL, and when different application will be released, this specific file and the derivative of this file will stay released as the MPL license. To some extent, it is similar to the LGPL license, but with the MPL, you can just copy the file from the MPL released uh, code to your code and use it without being forced to release it as the MPL. This does not work with the LGPL because LGPL allows you only to dynamically link to the different library. You cannot statically link, you cannot just copy uh, the file from the LGPL to your repository before being obligated to release your work as the LGPL. With the MPL, you have to keep the copyleft and the copyright and everything that is bound by the MPL license with the file originally released under the MPL license. It's free. You can use it in your closed source I hope not, but you can use it in your closed source as long as this file from which it uh, comes from is still released under the GPL. If you are a um, library author or the code snipper author or I don't know, you just write to write open source firmware software because this is what you do, then MPL is fine for you. MPL is fine for you. Uh, you will keep your copyright and the cop copyleft and to some extent the information about the author will have to be propagated with the repository and ensures that what you wrote will stay how you wrote. If you are a company that would like to rely on the external services, rely on the external work released before as the MPL, you are free to do it. You can either dynamically link or you can just copy paste somewhere into your code and you are good to go. MPL is not that much of the virus license as the GPL is and it's let's say more suited to the modern approach to the open source. The major outtake of the MPL is that MPL is the GPL for file. It's not a GPL for the whole project, for full repository, everything that inside. MPL applies really only to a file released under the MPL. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye bye.